Awesome sauce. So welcome to Radical Books and Politics. Today I am giving a disappointed book review of, of Max Brooks' uh, Devolution. I was really, really looking forward to this book. Let's see if I can. Ooh, there we go. This is the audible version. Really looking forward to this book because I, I am a huge fan of um, World War Z. And I didn't think this was going to be a similar format, but it was uh, to a degree. It's based on a journal by this um, character that I think a lot of people have demonized in reviews, but the main character was Kate Holland. And essentially Kate and her partner, Dan, go to this community um, in Washington near Mount Rainier. And there are other characters, but I mean, I'm gonna give you the review as an author and reader combined because I just liked it for both reasons. There, there was some good writing in it. Um, I mean, Max Brooks is outstanding. I he, he's one of the writers who just does a phenomenal job of researching, and that's one of the reasons why his books are so good. But I, I don't know. I just didn't, ah, it just didn't hit home with me. Um, and I was trying very hard not to compare it to World War Z, which is just amazing. That was a true horror story. I would say this wasn't. So back to the plot. Devolution is essentially about this community of I guess nature loving hippies, I call them petty bourgeoisie, who live in this very techno, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're, they're just very reliant on technology, like drone deliveries and solar powered houses. And so it's a tight knit community. And it just so happens that Mount Rainier um, explodes. And that, that's where the problems really started for me because this could have been a point where. There could have been a lot of tension revolving this volcanic eruption. And it just was like in the sidelines, even this transition, the main characters then decide because this leader rises up, Mostar, who I think was like the best character in the book to start to survive and to plant gardens and ration food and, and, um, and whatnot. But what happens as a result of this volcano is that um, this little I don't know, family of Bigfoot get displaced. And you know they're coming to the community. But by the time the book started to like chapter seven, it was just so slow. And the the thing about Kate Holland, who was this main character, is that she um to me she didn't really have any any growth like a character should. Um she doubts herself a lot. She has a flat relationship with her her partner Dan and it never really fully develops into like I don't know it's just 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 very flat um to me the characters are fundamentally unlikable there was this really funny scene where they were debating about um whether they should hurt a cougar who's about to attack a little girl and then later they really don't want to they don't want to defend themselves against Bigfoot except for uh, Mostar, who is this, never quite sure how old she is. I know she's an older woman. Um, and she starts to develop weapons and whatnot and tries to teach Katie to toughen up, you know? But it just, I don't know, it just didn't didn't do it for me. I don't even know why the book was categorized as horror. Yeah, there are terrible things that happen. Um, the, the Bigfoot creatures, you know, do kill community members and it's violent, but it all happens so fast towards the end. Um, and I don't want to spoil the ending for you because even that, I was like, really? I don't know. So interspersed with this plot of Kate Holmes's um, journal narrative, which uh, I don't even know how anybody could write long journal narratives while they're being assaulted by Bigfoot creatures. <laughs> yeah, these like really long. <laughs> I, was like, I don't know. They were. It was interspersed with um, interviews with. Um, the fish and wildlife or park rangers and that was kind of cool you know the park rangers had a different voice and they 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 were again you can tell max burns did his research they were interesting because they talked about how people you know were stupid and try to befriend animals and whatnot um and there were excerpts from theodore roosevelt and uh i i don't even know what the point of that was you know just talking about how nature and man people die in nature and um, other excerpts from zookryptologists and whatnot, but I don't know. It just the pacing was off for me. Um, a lot of times, right when the action was going to get good, there was this long exposition of either Katie's narrative 
in her journal or somebody else being interviewed. So it just threw it off for me. It didn't have quite the same cohesion that uh, More War Z had where every character, even if they were a jerk, were really interesting. And even the short excerpts left you like, oh, they kicked you in the gut. Um, this didn't, not even the ending for me. And, and I almost felt like it would make a really good B uh, science fiction movie, you know, cut out like the first third of the book. And, you know, I don't know. It's just, I was really like, oh, come on. But th that's one of the things that I think it was so aggravating is that, yeah, it was different, but I don't, I don't really see how you could categorize this as horror. Maybe, um, I don't know, speculative fiction, you know, I, I don't know. It was very, very strange. And and then I, I like the, uh, the professional reviews, I, they're so annoying because they, they like, oh, it's the best, you know, Bigfoot book and you got to have this book. And, you know, it's a, the big book characters were interesting, um, but I feel bad because, like, I think after, like, the sixth chapter, I was rooting for Bigfoot to kill all the members of the community except for Molestar. Like, get rid of all them, you know? So, I don't know. I, I, I hope that Max's next book is better than this one because I was like, come on now, you know? Um, yeah, so I, you, you who, if you haven't, I don't even know if you'd enjoy it if you hadn't read the first one. But I, I'm, I'm still torn about it. Um, I almost felt like he needed to revise it a couple of times. And, and it, you know, it would have been kind of cool if maybe the book had been told by the point of view of Mostar, who had, like, the most common sense in, in the plot and, you know, was um, somebody who was interesting. She had a backstory that never got delved into. But you know that she had suffered through some kind of war, some something. So she knew how to survive. But that just, again, got thrown to the side, you know. So C plus, I think on Amazon, I'm going to give it a three, which people have told me that means you still like the books. Um, what I did like about it again was how well researched, you know, some parts were and I, I don't know. The ending was kind of interesting, but I just don't think that the character development led up to it. I don't want to spoil it for you. It was just kind of, you know, fascinating, but it just didn't lead up to it. This, um, and, uh, yeah, so I, I think perhaps he may have set it up for a sequel, but I don't know that a lot of people are actually going to read it. <laughs> a lot of people who gave the book review like one star. So anyway, I know this is as ranty as I get. I was just so disappointed because like two in a row, you know, um, I had the same kind of like ah, disappointment when I read the Testaments by Margaret Atwood and you try not to put a book on a pedestal based on the previous book, but damn dude, you know, and it's like, she's, and I did um, listen to the audible version I thought the narrator captured the voice of, of the main character, Kate Holland, very well. People said, the other people said that the, the narrator was whiny, but I, I really do think that if I were to read the book, that's how she would sound, like with this kind of quasi-California accent, you know. I, I thought the narrator was fine, so, I you know, it was good. The voices were different, you know, she, she was emphatic, it was good. Um, so maybe for the alliteration part, and uh, the onomatopoeia got a little bit annoying after a while. Like, oh, oh, oh. I don't know. So anyway, that's it. C plus for Max Brooks. Three, three out of five stars. You know, I don't like to give anything below three stars. But um, yeah. And if you've read the book, I'd love to hear what you what you thought. I saw Ross Jeffrey's um, review, and I, I I agreed with him. You know, um, and others. Uh, <clears throat> But I try and get you a better review. I am going to read um, uh, The Last Dog on Earth next, which has gotten pretty damn good reviews. But um, Or not review. I guess stars. I, it, it's been... It, it came up when I was reading another book, but I'm, hope, I'm looking forward to that. So, we'll see. Anyway, hope you're having an amazing day. Do what you love to the max. Read as many books as you can. And write on. And if you have a recommendation for a book, please post it in the comments, you know? I'm hoping, hey, even if it's a good Bigfoot book. <laughs> Have an amazing day, and thanks for watching.